Hello there, my dear viewers, my wonderful sewing friends. I am Alice Murray, and this is day 115 of 365 Sewing Makes. And on this channel, I show you every day at 7 o'clock sharp. I uh, post a video about a garment or garments that I have made and I review the pattern and I review the fabric and I critique how I did because lots of times I do really foolish things and um, sometimes there's you know some things with the pattern or the fabric that it would be handy to know before you go out and make the same mistakes. So I'm a cautionary tale. That's what this is all about. So today I have nothing bad to say. Uh, everything went swimmingly. And uh, what I want to show you is this tried and true pattern. You can tell by how wedgy it is. I use this pattern a lot. It is New Look 6735. If you have not already purchased New Look 6735, I strongly suggest you get it. It um, is the kind of pattern that comes with lots. You could make a whole summer wardrobe out of these five pieces. Um, I've made all of these things more than one time. Today, what I'm gonna show you is the Palooza pants and the little t-shirt. Uh, let's show you the line drawings. It, um, there, this really is a great pattern. These Palooza pants are, well, I'll give you a twirl, then we'll talk. Very sweetie. I made the top blue. There is blue flowers in the pattern. So I think it goes together. So what I like about this pattern, the Palooza pants are very wide legged. Uh, they drape beautifully. It was a good choice of fabric. The fabric was very cheap. I have showed you some other things with it. I'll post that video at the end of this one. The t-shirt, what I like is it uh, has gathers at the side instead of darts. And uh, it has kind of a nice shaped neckline, nice shaped sleeves, quite a, I would call it a feminine, quite a fe feminine cut. Um, this material is kind of this beautiful teal blue and it's uh, a stretch knit and it has kind of a crepe, crepe-like uh, finish on it. And these uh, pants are quite, they're quite thin, but quite drapey and silky. Uh, both pieces of material are from the discount area at Fabric Mart, or Fabric Land, uh, which I bought in person at the store before all of the uh, pandemic-y stuff started. Um, yeah, so I would say the fabric's a winner. The pattern is definitely a winner that you could not go wrong with this pattern. And I like to end all of my posts with a little bit of gratitude about something. And today, uh, this might be a silly little thing, but I am grateful for my Instapot. I don't know if you have one. I don't work for Instapot. Uh, but I love mine. I use it pretty much every time I cook. Might have something to do with all the sewing because I kind of make my husband a big pot of something and um, then he can eat on it for a few days while I'm sewing. It cuts, it cuts down on my cooking time. So maybe that's what I really like about it. And I hope that you are sewing because sewing 
is so much fun. Talk to you again tomorrow.